In our last videos, we went over the different levels of charging in Australia. If you haven't already, click up here on the pop-up banner where you'll be able to watch that video first. In today's video, I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into the level two public charging stations and show you the different adapters and cables you'll need in order to maximize your chance of getting a charge. My name is Ed and welcome to Juice Garage. So most of the public charging stations you'll find today are either going to be a Type 1 with a Type 1 cable attached, a Type 2 with a cable attached, as well as a BYO with no cable attached at all. So here today we're in a Tesla Model 3 with a Type 2 port and we're going to go to each and every single one of the charging stations to show you what cables and adapters you'll need to be able to charge your car at those charging stations. Um, so right now we're in the hunt to go find a Type 1 charging station and I'll show you how to charge a Type 2 car at a Type 1 charging station. So here we've got a Type 1 charging station and we can tell that because it's got a Type 1 cable attached to the unit. So if you've got an older generation car such as the Mitsubishi Outlander with a Type 1 port, then all you'll need to do is plug this directly into the car. Uh, for the Tesla, however, because it's got a Type 2 port, what you'll need is a Type 1 to Type 2 adapter cable. So what this is, is effectively there is a Type 1 socket on one end so all you'll need to do is plug this into the Type 1 socket and then the other end, which is a Type 2, will plug directly into the Tesla, just like this. And then once it's plugged in, it should initiate a charge. So now let's hop over to a Type 2 charging station and we're going to show you how to use that. So here we're at a Type 2 charging station and as you can see, with this charging station there is a cable already attached to the unit. So good news for us is the Tesla Model 3, it's got a Type 2 port. So what that means is all you'll need to do is plug it straight into the car. And then obviously if you've got a Type 1 car, all you will need is a Type 2 to Type 1 adapter cable so it fits into the Type 1 car. Now the only problem with these charging stations are people don't tend to take care of these cables and what end up happening is these cables get dropped and damaged over time. So that's why a lot of the public charging stations you'll find today are a BYO charging stations. So what that means is they don't come with a cable anymore. So uh, this one for instance you can see that it's got a type 2 socket. So all you'll need is a type 2 to type 2 EV charging cable just like this one. Effectively one end plugs into the charging station and the other one will plug straight into the car. Uh, and then obviously if you've got a Type 1 car, all you'll need is a Type 2 to Type 1 EV charging cable. Uh, one thing to be mindful of of these charging stations is that sometimes they're limited by the software. Uh, so what that means is if it's a paid to charge system for example, just make sure you follow those instructions so you can initiate your charge. All the cables and adapters that you see today, I've got them from evsc.com.au and I'll link them down in the description below so if you're interested to get one of them. I hope you found this video helpful. If you've got any questions at all, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below and we'll try our best to answer those questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.